Hello everyone, today I'm going to review my game I played with Oyojin Nindan. Do you know who she is? She is uh, this girl. She has been one of the best female players for a long time. She is very strong. She is lovely. Yeah, lovely girl. I am participating in the KBA tournament, you know KBA league. Um, that is a match created by KBA itself to provide sufficient amount of opportunities for the players to practice. Yeah, it is going on very actively. Let me share the league table. Yeah, this is the league table. There are seven, seven groups. And Simile is here. Simile is uh, the very next group. So I could play with her, but um, unfortunately she is in the next group. So this is the uh, table. Um, there are more than 130 people. And let me share how we can organize the game. This is the group chat. There are uh, 20 people inside this chat group. And yeah, and we can say uh, who want to play with me at this time. I'm available at this time. Um, the available times are uh, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. from Monday to Friday. So we can make an appointment here so we can play. That is so cool, I think. You might be wondering how I am doing it here. Uh, I cannot tell. Yeah, <laughs> that is secret. Um, yeah, let's get started. I got white. The time control is very um, short. Um, it is the Fisher method. You know, we have uh, 20 minutes of main time and we can add 20 seconds per uh, every move after 20 minutes. It is fast it feels like a very fast but usually uh, it takes around um, two hours for me yeah i got white yeah when she chose this opening i i thought like oh my god <laughs> this is um what i haven't studied you know um so when she played this move i realized that my the amount of my study is very um not enough, yeah. I should study uh, harder, you know. Yeah, I chose this way. Yeah, very stable and safe against stronger player. She invaded 3-3 three, three, and I chose this way. I have this move. So that's why I chose this Joseki. Yeah, this is the idea. So she, she answered with this sequence. This is her style, you know. Um, she is very good at end game uh, her style is not that aggressive but recently uh, when i checked her game it turned out that she uh, doesn't avoid fighting yeah but she's more territorial style than mm, fighting style so yeah this is the game i played away yeah i can continue with this move but um i was not sure about this variation. So um, I thought this is big enough to play. So I went here. She approaches from this side. Yeah, I played away because these days I realized that when black has this stone, when there is this joseki on the upper right corner, um, the right side, this area is not that fun, you know, not interesting for me. So um, playing like this or yeah, continuing this corner was not attractive for me. So I played away. Yeah, she played this shoulder hit um, and I answered here. My idea was like, um, I didn't feel like answering like this because um, this is narrow, this is cramped. One of the things I realized recently is I can try to make um, almost every milestone on the board um, be active. Like if I play here, one of these stone is not 
that efficient. But but if I play here for black, it is not easy for black to play away, right? So I can make this stone more active by playing here. Does it make sense? Yeah, so I played here. It was correct. But when I reviewed this game, I was not sure about this move. But um, I checked with I and then I I was happy because uh, it was correct. You know, when you play with a stronger player, <laughs> every move you played was um, uncertain, you know? Yeah, that is strange. But somehow, um, in general, I didn't feel uh, good about my play, you know? But it was good, yeah. And she said uh, she regretted this shoulder hit because she thought it was uh, this move was very good, yeah. Uh, when she played this pincer, um, I thought about this move. Yeah, this is my first intuition, taking the corner, right? But um, if black plays like this, then I can get the corner, but in this case, black has a very strong outside, then this ore can be um, useless. So I didn't like it. So after this move, I checked this jump, but I didn't like black kicks here and jumps here. Then this group would be under attack, right? So I chose this way in the game. But um, she said after the game, she was um, she didn't like me to play here, cause um, if black plays away, white has this move. Um, but I didn't know this was so nice, you know. This was not in my head, but she had this move, so I think that is the. Um, difference between her and me. I have uh, less knowledge. So um, yeah, this is very good. You know, uh, the upper side is very beautiful and um, very efficient. And yeah, this is powerful. And of course, black doesn't feel like answering, right? So if black plays here, if black answers, then there is this move, A and B are me I. So if black, if white can capture this one stone with center, that would be great. Yeah, but I didn't even think about this move and I chose this way. Yeah, this was um, okay. I pulled back and I immediately cut. I regretted this move a lot, but AI said this is the best. Yeah, somehow I was not sure about my play and there were lots of uh, times I regretted my previous move, something like this, but uh, I, I played okay. I regretted the, this move and I thought like I should should have gone here because if black answers then this is much better because in the game I played here and she immediately attached here, it was annoying. Yeah, but um, it was pretty okay, yeah. She kicked yeah, it was uh, very annoying, but um, I chose this way and I felt like I lost a lot here by this exchange, but um, looks like I was doing okay. Yeah, white is slightly ahead, one and a half points. Yeah, uh, the win rate is 60%. But uh, for me, it, I felt like um, I was behind. Uh, at least by two points or something, yeah. When she played here, I didn't want to answer like this. I wanted to get Sente, but I didn't feel like it's changing all these exchanges. So yeah, this is bad exchange, of course, for the corner. So I endured, but it was the right move and I was doing okay. She played on the top um, cause she knew that this block is very good for white. I answered, but it could have been better for me to play here. Yeah, I thought about this move. You know, when you play a game, uh, many choices 
come to mind at the same time. So this is one of the moves I thought about at the time, but somehow I, I avoided choosing this one. Yeah, I don't know exactly why. And I answered like this, because um, my idea was in terms of this group, I didn't know how to attack. So I felt like it is not attack cover. So my choice was bad. Yeah, that was my idea, but um, yeah. <laughs> but I was doing okay, but I, I, I didn't think like that. And so uh, I didn't know how to attack this group. So I just answered like this and then, oh, I messed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this is okay, this move. Yeah, it was ranked in the top three, I, I remember. But yeah, but my feeling was not like that. With this move, uh, this, this was the best, yeah. More active, right? And I can put some pressure on this corner and towards this group as well. And the upper side is not that urgent. Yeah, this is more active, but somehow I think I was a bit nervous. Yeah, let me say uh, how I felt before the game. Yeah, I was uh, nervous actually um, to play with her, you know, because she is uh, one of the top players. She, yeah, she is like a uh, chaejong for me. Yeah. <laughs> So I was uh, excited and I was nervous at the same time. Yeah, I think this move shows um, how I felt. Yeah. And the next move. Yeah, she played here, I played here. Yeah, this is... Uh, I don't understand this move. Why I played here, you know? Um, this is my mistake. I must have been uh, frozen yeah <laughs> why i played here yeah with this move i think i could have gone here or i can exchange this i think at least this jump is better than this push yeah yeah i thought this is a thick move you know um putting some pressure on this group and I can gain some power here, but uh, I was not that valuable, yeah. Anyway, this is the game. When I get this move, uh, I was like, I messed up this game. <laughs> when she played here, before I played here, I was slightly ahead. But uh, when she played this move, Black started leading by half points. I mean, the game is still close. The difference is very subtle, but my feeling was uh, like I messed up. How should I do? And then I played here. It was okay. It was um, the best move. And yeah, after this, I just uh, was in a hurry to erase the lower side. Yeah, but uh, it was pretty good. You know, I played uh, quite well, you know. Um, when she played here, I thought, oh, isn't this too much? She has some weakness over here and I can escape toward this part. So it could be uh, awkward. So um, I checked with uh, this move. This is the most passive move, but of course this is not good because uh, if black jumps here, I should add one more move. And yeah, this is slow and yeah, I didn't like this move. And then I thought about this cut. This is not working. I cannot handle after this. So I ended up avoiding this move. And then um, I thought about this move. When I make a video for you, uh, I covered this Joseki. Do you remember? um the one space pincer joseki yeah when i dealt with this shape i covered uh this kind of move do you remember so what i'm trying to say is when i'm making a video i study as well so um b because of that 
I managed to come up with uh, this kind of move. Before I made a video about this, in my head, there is no this move. But um, because of that, I managed to get more options when I choose the next move. So um, what I'm trying to say is if you uh, study many Josekis, then you can get to um, have more options when it comes to choosing the next move. That, that is great. Yeah. But um, I checked uh, with this sequence. Yeah, maybe I should go here. But I was not sure about um, this variation. Yeah. Because if I play here, black can answer on this side, then yeah, I cannot fight on this side. So I avoided uh, playing here. And then I checked this as well. But in this case, I don't think I can fight like this. So if I sacrifice, then I think this is pretty big, right? And if I go here, what did I do here? Yeah. So I avoided this move. And then I chose this move. I played here. This is a um, kind of challenging move. It turned out to be the best move, yeah. Um, my idea was um, I'd like to earn more territory on this side. And saying, can you play here? I can cut. Yeah, I can fight. You know, uh, as a weaker player, there is some advantage when it comes to the 50-50 fight you know because <laughs> the stronger player uh, they have some tendency to avoid 50 50 fight with weaker player so in this case uh, probably she doesn't feel like fighting like this yeah so she answered so i gained some point here yeah it was great right and i played here because this was not good and this was not good I need some stone here so I chose this way now of course I thought about this move as well but this is a bit uh, how can I say looks a bit slow so I played here it was okay and she blocked here yeah actually when she blocked here I was like oh, oh my god wh what about this group is it okay should I answer and I thought about this move because I knew that this is very big in terms of territory. And if I play like this for black, um, there is no interesting move after this. I mean, black cannot make a, a territory here because this is sente, this is very small, right? So black doesn't feel like continuing here. So. In that case, this is great, right? But the problem is uh, this group. So I tried to hit here. Yeah. One of the things I recently realized is um, taking some initiative, you know? If I get to this exchange, for example, then this group is much better than the previous variation when there is no this exchange. In this case, black can uh, hit here. Yeah, for example, black can hit here. Yeah, something like this. And by playing here, I can put some pressure on this group, on black's stones, right? Then I can um, make my opponent be under pressure. Yeah, so yeah, this kind of uh, movies I recently got and it was uh, good. Yeah, so far I was doing okay. What do you think? And she answered with this move. For me, uh, actually, this is not my style, you know. The game is very complicated and I don't know how to continue here. And uh, for me, I had this move because the ladder is not working for black. 
yeah, this is a net locally, but this is Atari, this is Atari. So this is a disaster for Black. So this is not working for her. So Black should go here. Then this is Atari as well. So there is no way for Black to capture this one stone. If Black goes here, then this is very nice. So locally, this is okay. But I was worried about this part. Yeah. After the game, she was, she said she was going to play here if I had played um, on this side. But AI says I can continue with this move, but uh, this is beyond my level. Yeah. yeah, AI says I can fight with this move, then the game goes like this, but it's so complicated. How can I know? So yeah, playing this move is, uh, yeah, I, I cannot do that. And I wor I'm worried about this part. So I, I chose this way. Actually, this is a move that I was looking from before. I thought about this move because um, I thought like black can't play Hane because this tiger's mouse is very powerful. Yeah, this is not good for black. So if black goes here, then I can cut cut off, right? So I thought like this is pretty good. Um, so that's why I played here. Yeah, at the moment. But she played here and I tried to um, play intensely and then she blocked from the outside. So the game went like this. There was a trade. The result is uh, exactly even. Yeah. Um, I thought like this result is good for me because do you remember the previous position? When I played uh, this move, I was desperate to break the lower side. But I managed to push through here and I captured this too, right? Isn't this good for me? But as I said, this is exactly even because black has to the influence outside. Yeah, I, I know, of course, I knew that, but um, even though I lost the outside, I thought uh, it was good for me. But um, it turns out that, but it turns out that she uh, thought like uh, she was ahead a lot <laughs> yeah, at this point. Um, probably um, she was playing with a weaker player, so yeah, it's, it is natural to uh, make a judgment favorable for her. Yeah, I understand. Mm, yeah, but anyway, the game is even. But AI says when I played here, my idea was uh, black can't play here because I can cut off, then this is dead. But it was not true. Yeah, if I if black had played like this, then I should connect here. Otherwise, there is some um, cutting point here. Yeah, so I should answer on this side. Then yeah, AI says black is uh, playable. Yeah, this is crazy actually. Yeah, so AI says um, I don't remember exactly, but AI says um, black can sacrifice this part and then get some this side. And then the game is good for black. Black is ahead by five points or something. But uh, it is beyond our level. Yeah, probably she, she avoid this, this move as well because she must have thought as the same as me, right? So she um, chose this way. She decided to sacrifice this too. And she played here. Yeah, this is, uh, she's saying this is Sente, aiming at this honey. Locally, this is dead. But I didn't feel like answering like this, of course, so I tried to get Sente. But uh, the problem is uh, my Boyomi, my, um, I was out of time, yeah. So at this moment, I was under the time pressure. So I was debating between this move and this move. <laughs> And I chose this way. Yeah, my plan was um, to get Sente here. She played here and I played here and I cut. 
So my idea is if black plays here, then I can answer, then this is alive. So yeah, that is my thought. If black answers, then I can play away. So I kept putting some pressure on this group, black's group, and she connected here and I kept pushing. I was forcing black to Atari here and then I can be alive here, yeah. She avoided playing this Atari and captured this one stone. I played here and saved this one stone. Yeah, locally, um, as I showed you before, locally this is a net, but I had this move. Yeah, black cannot play on this side because this is Atari, so I can escape. So black should answer. So the game went like this. Yeah, I lost three stones on this side, but I managed to block uh, with a quite uh, decent shape. And then the most important thing is I managed to get Sente. So um, at this point, the game was very close. Yeah. But I didn't see this part, you know? I think I was nervous. <laughs> yeah, if I get nervous, your um, perspective is getting narrower, yeah. Does it make sense? So I didn't see this part. <laughs> it, it is funny. Um, so I was uh, obsessed with uh, this territory. So that's why I wanted to get Sente. I wanted to get Sente and I really wanted to Come, come back here to capture the corner. And then I missed this part. Yeah, this is very big. Yeah, I think I should have played here. Yeah, I can get this part. Isn't this big? Yeah. If I saw this move, I would have played here. Yeah, definitely. But I didn't see this part and then I played here. And then she played here. Yeah, the game is still even, yeah. But I didn't know how to continue here. I wanted to play some awesome move here, but I was running out of time. So I just played Hane and connected. When she chose this way, uh, she started leading by two and a half points. Probably I should have done like this. Yeah, this is much better. Yeah, like something like this. The difference is Mm, very subtle but yeah that is huge actually yeah I played on the right side but the upper side was better I was debating between um, playing here or here but AI says this is I should go this much because the game is not that uh, great for me but um, at this time she said she thought like um, she was doing pretty okay and she thought I played here because I was behind she thought like I was challenging to get more point over here and taking some r risk on the upper side but um, of course I was not sure about the um, game but um, but I thought um, white might be ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she played on the upper side. Yeah, it was uh, not easy for me to handle here. Because this Atari is Sente and this Atari is Sente as well. And then, yeah, she managed to capture my two stones. I played on this side. Now the gap is almost three points. Black is ahead by three and a half points. I, and then I was worried about this group, yeah. So I did one more move here and she blocked here. Yeah, I exchanged this and pushed here, but I think it was my, mm, one of the big chances for me, yeah. Uh, I could have exchanged this, maybe all of this. And then, yeah, I could have gone here. Yeah, this is quite big. And she was thinking she was ahead by a lot, so she could have played some moves um, coming from complacent. 
yeah anyway yeah i could have played like this but uh i had no time no enough time so i played on this side and she exchanged this yeah still um i think i could have played here yeah yeah this part is very decisive but i didn't pay that much attention on this side yeah that was my problem i i could have exchanged this and then and then I can go here. No, 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 not here. Yeah, I, I should have, I could have played here. Yeah, this is very big. But in the game, I um, probably I, I didn't see this move. Yeah, this is very big. If I had played like this, then the gap is one and a half points. I was behind that much. But I think there could be uh, some chance for me. Yeah, later on. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, this is very good because if I go here, then this is sente. Yeah, this is very big. If the sequence goes like this, then um, the gap is um, three and a half points. That is, we say, uh, that is um, 10 points difference on the board. The 10 points difference on the board is considered as the big enough difference for someone to finish the game safely yeah so um, in this case i i don't think i would be able to have some chance but um yeah this would have been good to me but in the game i played on this side without um this exchange and then she played instead it was decisive. Yeah, now the gap became more than four points and I tried to do something here. It turned out to be an overplay. Yeah, yeah, she was correct. Yeah, this was very sharp. Yeah, this pip. I tried to get center here, but I lost this too. Yeah, I managed to break some points over here, but I lost some points. And then I lost two stones. Yeah, now the gap is um, quite big, but um, I managed to get some points on this side by winning this call. But the gap is around two points, and then it was quite solid. Yeah, I don't think I had a chance after this. Yeah, with this move, I could have blocked here. Yeah, this is bigger. Then AI says the gap, gap is uh, two and a half points. Yeah, with this move, I could have played on this side. Yeah, I can make some points over here, but I, I didn't see. Yeah, this is bigger than here, but I had no idea. And then I played here. And yeah, she played on this side. Eventually, it was very big. And she captured this one stone and the gap became um, more than five points at this point. Yeah. All right. How was today's game? When I look back, even though at, at this moment AI says the game is close, um, I think it was more difficult for me to um, continue this game, to play the end game, you know? Because black is very thick on the center, black is very uh, influential. So that's why uh, she was thinking she was doing okay. You know, there is uh, a gap between AI and human. Even AI says the game is, for example, 50-50. Um, but um, in some case, um, to maintain the win rate that AI is saying uh, it could be very difficult for a human being right then yeah then the win rate is uh, meaningless yeah so yeah I mean the game was uh, close according to AI but uh, it was very difficult for me to follow the win rate yeah Anyway, it was uh, so much fun. I enjoyed a lot. 
and I'm satisfied with uh, my play. Yeah, I managed to compete equally for a long time. <laughs> what do you think? With this game, I think I managed to gain um, greater passion to my study, you know? All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next time. Bye.